On November the 7th, 1837, Elijah Parrish Lovejoy was killed. Lovejoy was born on November the 9th, 1802 in Maine. He graduated from Waterville College at the top of his class and taught at China Academy. He felt called to move to the South or the West and was advised that he would be able to serve God better in the West. He moved to Boston and New York trying to get a position to be able to afford the journey to Illinois where he decided that he should go. He sold newspaper subscriptions but was unable to save the money he would need for the journey and received assistance from his former college. He changed his destination to St. Louis and was able to find a position there editing the St. Louis Observer and heading a private school. He became a minister and was strongly abolitionist. Missouri was a slave state surrounded by three free states and this made it the center of the free versus slave debate. He continued to be an editor and his printing press was destroyed three times by slavery supporters. He moved across the river to Alton, Illinois and continued to print abolitionist literature. Since Illinois was a free state, he thought it would be less risky to print there. But on November the 7th, 1837, a pro-slavery mob surrounded the warehouse where his printing press was and fired shots at Lovejoy and Weller, one of his supporters. Lovejoy returned fire and killed one of the mob. They sent a boy up the ladder to set fire to the warehouse and Lovejoy threw the ladder down. When trying to fend off the second attempt, Lovejoy was shot five times and died and Weller was wounded. The mob threw the printing press out of the window and destroyed it. No one was convicted of the murder. Would You Do What They Did? Great Christian Leaders from Our Past is available now on Amazon.com and Barnes and & Nobles. The book is a collection of biographies of famous Christians. Thomas Beckett, Martin Luther, Francis of Assisi, and John Wesley written in creative nonfiction style, which is where you take nonfiction events and add details so it reads like fiction. I have excerpts here on YouTube and on my website, WilliamDeanHamilton.net. So please check that out. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you for watching This Week in Christian History. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, WilliamDeanHamilton.net. Thank you.